Okay, so I've already mixed the solution. Um, I have one. I'm using two boxes because I have a lot of hair. And if you have a lot of hair, now if you have a TWA, which is a teeny weeny afro, you only need one box. But if you have a lot of hair, you need to go ahead and grab two boxes to make sure that you have enough to go along, you know, all over. So, um, this is how it's looking so far. But, I threw a monkey wrench in. I know I went through that whole explanation of telling y'all how I parted my hair. I decided to just do it. So, I am going to dye my whole head. I know. I know. So, now I am back to four sections. One, two, three, and four. So... This is a big thing because not my whole head. So, um, yeah, I'm ready to get started. So, I'm going to start with the front here. Actually, I'm going to start with the back. I'm trying to remember some things. And, yeah, I got a hole and you may see some. But this is an old shirt and that's what you want to do. You want to um, find you a shirt that you do not care about because this is permanent dye. So, um... Can't be cute in this video. Not at all. Alright, let me just twist this up. Now, the one mistake that I found I did the last time I colored my hair was I went from the root to the end. And you never want to do that. You always want to start from the ends and work your way up. Because the roots tend to die quicker and faster. So, if you're waiting for your hair to take down here... While it's at the root, it's already getting brighter and brighter and brighter. So, um, which, you know, that was honey blonde. But this that I'm using is the light golden brown. So it shouldn't be as bad, but I'm still going to work um, the color from the ends to the root. So here we go. And I don't really have a system of how I'm putting the color on. So, actually it works better if you put it in your hands and then, that's the color there. And then work your way. I'm just going through each section very carefully, making sure that I'm coating all of the hair. You may see me make some faces. I'm trying to not let it touch. I should have on a towel while doing this. put just a little bit more what I try to do is use um, half a bottle for one side and then I mean one bottle for one side and the other bottle for the other that way I can make sure that I'm coating the hair really well okay so I don't see anything and you're not supposed to see anything right away But I'm hoping that it gives me the color that I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm just take my clip for right now and I'm going to clip it. Just like that. Alright. So I'm going to do this all over my head. I'm not even going to bore you guys with the next three sections. And I will be back to show you um, all of it pinned up. And to see if we see any color. Um, I'm going to also, I'm going to start from this side here and then work my way to the front, okay? Always 
have your front last just because if it starts to turn you don't have to worry about your roots or anything being super bright or you know all that good stuff so I will be back to show you all four sections okay all right all right guys so I am back I have my hair pinned up still in the four sections um I can kind of see a little bit of brown more so on the ends from where I had some previous color and I dyed my hair black but it still came through and it's supposed to be in a semi 27 wash um color or something like that um but anyway I have it all applied over I did not skip any sections and I'm going to place this cap on and I'm going to leave it on for about it says 20 minutes now when I put the cap on I can see the brown I don't know if that's picking up so you can see but um, hopefully it's going to be light I didn't want a dark brown I wanted a light brown so hopefully it's, I'm going to put two on just because to make sure that it's secure and I'm going to just sit like this for a little while and see what the results are going to be fingers are crossed first time dyeing my entire head so I need for it to be good so um I guess I will be back whenever I do the check-in to see what the color is looking like and I'll let you guys see that before I actually do the rinsing and I am going to be that would be like me to okay let me just show you what I'm going to do all right sorry but um if you have not heard me ranting about this this is my favorite now the herbal essence honey I'm strong conditioner I fell in love with this conditioner oh my gosh I promise you I don't care what stage your hair is in if you put this in you can figure detangle your hair in the shower it just makes it like smooth it is creamy it's very moisturizing so it has beat a lot of top brands I promise you so you can check it out it's only $2.97 at Walmart hey for three dollars so I decided that since this was so good that I just went ahead and bought the shampoo as well um, actually is the shampoo is this way the conditioner is this way um, but if you just want to try out the conditioner please feel free to do so I have already tried this and I'm telling you this is one of my staple products I absolutely love it so I'm going to be washing and conditioning my hair with this the herbal essence products and then of course I have two of these because like I said I had to use two boxes and I really needed two boxes I wouldn't even had like only part of my hair like half a little little more I got a look I was already on the back I did the back and I was starting on the side and I ran out so if you have a lot of hair I go ahead and suggest that you go ahead and buy two boxes but it comes with the third step is the Pantene Pro V and it's a um, intensive moisturizer and basically it says that when you rinse the color from your hair um, apply the intensive moisturizing conditioner evenly to the hair and for best results leave it on there for three to five minutes and then you're gonna rinse it with warm water um, and then it also says that if you have any um, extra keep it so that for your next shampoo you can also add some intensive moisturizing because we all know that when you apply color you need to keep your hair super duper moisturized so that's why I was kind of like skeptical because I know the back of my hair is a bit dry so now I'm going to have to really really pay attention and make sure that I'm keeping it moisturized, doing my deep conditions, um, making sure I apply my oil, you know, all the way from root to end, not, you know, skipping over or forgetting about it. But, you know, in these like, in these first couple, few weeks, I need to make sure that the moisture is really into my hair. So that is what I'm going to focus on. Like I said, I'll be back. Alright guys, so it's probably been... Mm, close maybe 10 minutes or so and I'm not really seeing a whole lot of change I see a little bit but not a lot so I'm going to see 
how it's going to do. I'm going to keep it on a little bit longer. I <sighs> hope this comes out. Because that would be a waste to put permanent dye on your hair and it's not doing anything. So, I'm going to just wait and see. Maybe another 10 more, 20 more minutes. Um, I think you can do up to 30 minutes. Um, I probably wouldn't go over 30 minutes. I may take out my dryer and sit under it and see if that's going to enhance the color a little bit. Um, but like I said, I can see it through the bag, the brown. So hopefully it's working. I <sighs> guess we'll see. All right. Stay tuned for whatever's going to happen next, guys. All right. You can kind of see the color, but not really. Um, yeah. I don't really care too much about it. There's not really a big whole difference. So, yeah, here is the results of it. And I may come back and show you the part where I actually blow dry my hair. But again, these are the results. Got a lot of black still. Yeah, it didn't really turn my hair a whole lot. So, yeah. Not pleased. My, my edges are a bit colored, but... Yeah. Be back. Yeah, so I'm doing the final stage. Uh, I guess I was going to come back and tell you about that but that was with the Pantene Pro-V um, intensive moisturizing conditioner and as you can see I've been using quite a bit of it um, like I said you can still see some of it but uh, um, I was just expecting a whole lot more color because it is the about to be spring but Maybe once I blow dry it, I don't know. I do see a lot of brown, but it looks that way when I lean forward. But when I lean back, it just kind of looks black. But, um, yeah. Just been applying it. My hair seems to be getting a lot of hang time. It seems like it's different. It feels different. Like it feels thin. Not thin like as if something came out, but... Like it just feels good very moisturizing so I just think that for my hair being dyed black that maybe I needed a lift um, so that had to be done professionally so here's what it is at this point but if you have your hair that's dyed and it's dyed black you may want to consider getting a lifter first because it just may be that it may take a lot more to get it to come through all that black. But, yeah. It's going to have to work. It's a good thing I didn't do the different sections. So I was thinking that it was going to be bright. But all the reviews that I saw, it was really bright. Not bright, but it was like enough color. So it's a good thing I did go back and do like the four sections and then just decided to do the whole entire head. But yeah. I'm going to leave this on for three to five minutes, rinse it out, and then I'm going to co wash it with my um, herbal essence. And then I'll start the blow drying process. I'll probably just insert some pictures at the end if I don't come back and show you guys the blowout process. But, um,. Yeah, this is the final result. So, if you have any questions, please leave them in the description box. Well, in the comment section. And um, I will respond to you guys. So, to give it a thumbs up, I think that it probably would have done um, better if I had a lifter. But because my hair was previously dyed black, it could be that problem as well. But overall, um, I'm just not pleased because I wanted more color. But um, everything else, I still love the brand. And, yeah. So, if you're interested in color, go try it out. Go check it out. And these are just my results.